Tom, 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 Tom walks through. Hello, everyone. This is Tom, bringing you my first video from Tom Walks Through. Uh, this one's going to be a bit different than probably most videos on my channel, but uh, just to just to kind of get some uh, get some videos out there and get myself back into making walkthroughs. I'm just doing some free to play games that um, I don't know that are pretty popular. So I'm going to do this series where I'm going to play a few different tanks in World of Tanks, uh, just the ones that you can see at the bottom here, just because that's what I have. Um, and then I'm also going to do some some League of Legends, just some some solo queue games. Uh, just to just so you guys can see what that's like. Uh, these two actually of my favorite games right now. They're you know there's no big story or anything, but it's it's what I tend to find myself playing. So I figured why not do a walkthrough on them. So I'm going to start with the uh, low tier tank here, the MS1. This is a Russian tier one light tank. Um, so it's not it's not really going to shoot its way out of a paper bag anytime soon, to be honest, but I've at least got it upgraded, so if we're up against other tier 1s, um, that should be good. Like, I should be able to probably rock most of them. Um, but of course, that's not the case, of course. Uh, well, actually, we've got more tier 2s than they do. So, a lot of times, people, like, it, it gets to actually a ridiculous extent. People just look at this, like, layout of who has what tanks, and will just immediately, like, say GG. They'll just be like, oh, we can't win, it's impossible, because the other team has... You know, like, if if I was on the other team, oh, there's two tier twos on the other team more than we have. It's impossible to win. Because, you know, for some reason, people like to feel like uh, like they know what's going to happen before it does happen. So, Alright, so here we are in game now. And on this map in particular, this is a really, really campy map, I guess for lack of a better word. Both sides have this big uh, ridge that they can kind of camp behind. There's a lot of bushes to cover them. Um... So I'm not going to do that, because, you know, why be boring to watch if you don't have to be? I am going to come up with my other MS1 buddy over here and try to push into the base and blow some shit up. If that sounds fun, yeah. Um, you can see, like, the different terrain will slow you down more, so... This might... No, I'm not going like up a hill. Yeah, this is this is soggy terrain I'm going across here. Slow me down. And um, when you actually get a sh a firing solution on an enemy tank, it changes. Like you can you can see the outline. See there, I had one for a second. But uh, even if you're like up above your tank like this, it it bases on whether or not your camera has line of sight to them. So unless your camera is in the tank like this. Uh, a lot of times you look at false positives, and I feel like that's probably what happened there. Which is why I did not shoot. Uh, I could poke my head up this ridge to shoot that MS-1, but then their base is going to be able to shoot at me, and they probably still have a lot of people just camping there. So, uh, instead I'm going to creep up a little bit more here. Hope that I don't get revealed. I'm not going to go quite as far as that other MS-1 did. Because he got blown right up. So this one I am going to try and poke my... Uh, yeah. Okay, I can't even see it anymore. Alright, I'm going for it. Taking my shot. Oh, right, I've got like the, the machine gun. So he got blown up, and I was spotted, so I need to back it up here. Uh, I do have a shot on this T2 light tank. Fortunately, machine guns don't penetrate tanks all that well. Um, they're decent against tier 1 stuff, but that is a tier 2. Alright, he's getting over there. Now it is time to play the waiting game, I think, because if I reveal myself, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get exploded by, like, everyone. Oh, but or we can just let this T-26 poke his head out there. See, so yeah, also shooting at things uh, makes you more visible. So, you can camp bushes, but it's not, like, the be-all, end-all. Uh, 
It doesn't just mean that they can't see you if you're in a bush. It does help a lot, though. Uh, but this guy's managing to get shot and not actually reveal the location of the people shooting at him. Which is a pretty terrible situation to be in. Uh, it's terrible accuracy. At least dealt some damage to that tier 2 guy there. This game's not going great, but we're still in it. All that we have less than them is one tier 1 tank. I like my situation that I'm in here as long as I don't get spotted. I am able to make it so that if any of their team really shoots anybody, I can probably spot them and then return fire. Because they're most likely camping over there. And we know that that uh, light tank, the T2, is over in this forest ridge. So, spotting for my team. But frankly, the the people that are back at base right now, they need to they need to get the memo and try and push forward. It never feels great as a strategy to to do that, but uh. Eventually, somebody's got to move, right? It's better if the enemy team moves, no doubt. But... Oh man, just shooting any tier 2 with this gun is just worthless. I get knocked out his tracks, at least. Um, I'm going to guess that he's not moving right now. Because I think if he was, I'd be able to see. Yep. Nope. Um... Oh shit. Alright, uh, yep, and I got blown up. So yeah, that's sort of the problem that I was talking about earlier, that same problem that they had, if they shoot, I can see them. Well, if I shot, they saw me, and so I got blown up. So, didn't get any kills there. Um, and the cool thing about this game is that you can either then watch the rest of the game, or you can just leave and go to the next time, which is what I'm going to do.